Welcome everybody back. I come with you with a new sort of we got new lighting. Look at this. It's amazing. It's like I'm in HD now. Not exactly. I'm I'm better. I'm in better color than I was before. We're we're doing all right. The lighting is amazing in here right now. Um, we also I also repositioned the camera a little bit to be more haloed by the light. I know you guys came here to totally listen to me talk about lights. No, let's talk about Extra Life. Extra Life is a program that I always participate in every year. And this year, uh, this this is the T-shirt from last year. This year they sent me another package. We made almost six hundred dollars. Uh, maybe a little over that uh, and we would have had more and I'll explain that a little later But we did all right with collecting for the Buffalo Women's and Children's Hospital this year Which I'm very proud of all of you for so I want to open this package that we got here from extra life They were really nice. They were really nice to send us this, this little bag of stuff. Look at this And I'm gonna open this for you and yes all right, so they sent us a t-shirt for thank yous. They got, look at that, look at that, look at it, look at it! Okay, but it's uh, it was in celebration of their 10th anniversary, and we were actually a part of that for about four or five years now. Um, not necessarily just through this, but I've been doing it for a while. And they sent me a little card that came with it. it says, we can't thank you enough for raising much needed funds for the children we serve at Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. You've joined a group of elite... Extra lifers who have earned their exclusive platinum t-shirt, be sure to wear it with pride. Now then, the bad news from this. I want to point out this asshole. And I call him an asshole because he earns the name. There's actually other subhuman names I would like to call him because what this individual did was he took it upon himself to come into my store and steal the collection jar I had for Buffalo Women's and Children's Hospital. Go ahead. Take a look at the face of a pure scumbag. Now, what he did, he came in, he stole it. I have it all on camera. Unfortunately, I can't share that footage with you because it's all secured and that, that belongs to the store. I cannot share that with you, but I can share this picture. Now, this guy took it upon himself to come into my store, steal the jar, and run away. Now, I wasn't even there when this happened, and there was a fair amount of money in there. We would be a lot closer to our goal if he hadn't done that. Yeah, and this was during that time of the, that week, uh, last week, when I was being just going through hell when my Discord account got hacked, my bank account was stolen from. It was it was a lovely week, um, and I'm not trying to be a drama channel. I'm really not. It's just this literally, I am the worst when it comes to luck, and this literally happened to me all in one week. I had this guy steal for me. I had another guy steal for me. I had a YouTuber steal for me. So, I mean, I, I've i been I've been going through some stuff. But I am most upset about this because this is an individual who took it upon himself and made the conscious decision to steal from sick children. Now, I actually posted this on uh, Reddit. If you guys follow me on Reddit, which you probably don't, uh, because no one actually knows I have a Reddit. I posted this up on uh, the local Reddit here in Buffalo and asked if people knew who this was, if I, and any information would be helpful, uh, report it to the Buffalo PD. That way they could help them further in their investigation. Um, then uh, I, I want to point this out. Remember, this person stole from children who are sick. Of course, it being Reddit, someone decided to get up on their moral high ground and become motherfucking Teresa when they started saying, what if he needed the money for food? Or what if he needed the money for, for drugs because he was strung out? And, and honestly, uh, this is going to sound like the most cold-hearted thing I'm going to say, but I don't care. You brought yourself to that point in life where you felt that stealing from sick children is going to better improve yourself, regardless if it's for food, and definitely regardless if it's for drugs. You made that conscious decision at some point in time in your life to get to where you are right now. I'm sorry, I don't have any feelings. I don't. Honestly, I really don't. I don't. And that's unfortunate, but that is how it is. And unfortunately, Unfortunately, this person just is a bad person. And I've been affected by a lot of bad people this past week or so. I'm going to push that negativity out. So I just wanted to give you this update video on the 
extra life program real quick i wanted to talk to you guys about the situation and explain to you what was going on in that retrospect the link to extra life is still located in the description before the end of the day it will be uh there now then you can still donate to it but i believe it all closes uh by tomorrow so if you want please do if you don't i understand but thank you very much for your support and thinking about it that was there uh so this is my final push for extra life this year and i'm encouraging you guys to at least try to help out if we can at least digitize the money we won't have to be dealing with people like that so i thank you very much for watching and i thank you very much for following along and trust me there's going to be a bigger video tomorrow about a lot of different things that are going to be positive more positive i want to be positive positive i want positivity coming here so i thank you guys very much for watching and i thank you very much for following along and i look forward to seeing you guys in the future of 2019 you guys have been great you guys have been fantastic and as usual as always my friends stay frosty and keep moving forward.